So what is left? Don't wait any longer and let's jump into our final adjustment to camera to make this image even more amazing. And of course, I'm creating a stamp by uh, pressing Command, Option, Shift and E. Let's call it stamp and convert into smart object because no matter what sort of image we are uh, doing, we always convert this to smart object because we always want non-destructively like professionals do. So once it's done, we can jump into camera roll and better do this quickly because I don't really like the this image in color. I want to see this image in grayscale and this is something I like much more. We'll probably not have uh, much work to do with the grayscale over here because as you can see, um, we barely have any colors as you can see. I think it was minus two. I hope I didn't do any mistake. Wonder if we could do something with the yellow, probably. As you can see, we have the yellow uh, wall. So probably we can do something around here by going down. I would not do. I think this would be really a good outcome to make it uh, rather dark with yellows. I think this gives us this that amazing contrast um, between both sides. But let's jump into basic panel. And first of all, let's darken the shadows. I want really dark shadows. And I'm going to brighten slightly the highlights. And I'm doing this much less than before because we already had really uh, strong contrasts over here. So I would be really careful with it. And this image is uh, pretty dark, which uh, makes me think maybe I would go down with the shadows and wasn't going so dark with the yellows over here. So this is the first thing I want to do and even bring up the shadows, which is small change of the plan but I want to experiment a little and see how this will work for me because then I can simply add more contrast to it. And I think that would be way too dark. And we could all agree upon this. We could uh, make it probably brighter but doing some more uh, contrast work uh, before, but I think it no need. So usually I don't work with exposure at the end over here, but why not do this this time? So I'm pretty slow right now, but I just want to make sure that everything is perfect on this image. I want to make sure that it has a right contrast, that it's dark enough, that it's not overexposed in the certain areas. So that's why I'm checking so much and I want to have a look once again as this is our start with going bright in here, slightly shadows up, contrasts not so much, we have this image quite contrasty and I wonder if I go more with blacks instead of shadows, this would be making really a nice outcome here. And this is the result I would be happy about. This is, has a lot of contrast, huge amount of contrast, in fact. Let's hit OK to have a look. Compare this to other image and they suit perfectly in terms of uh, the darkest and the colors are dark, we could even open more, see uh, if uh, darkening yellows will look good as well. So I would like to see how it works. And I think it's uh, really interesting. I like these very dark images with strong contrast. So this would be the final result for uh, this image.